What is going on everybody? Salty Jules back again today with another presentation. So for today's presentation, we're going to be taking a look at a Patreon exclusive device. Now, I know already a few of you are not liking that phrase, but I thought, hey, maybe a few of you would enjoy seeing this, or maybe even a couple of you have heard of this device, but had not yet had the chance to take a look at it. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at a side-by-side -side mod that takes a single 18650 battery and runs on a DNA 60 chipset. Today we're gonna to be checking out the MX1 and J, brought to you by Tech Division and J Hayes. So yeah, this is a Patreon exclusive device and it was designed around one atomizer and that atomizer is the Jenna RTA. I've been in contact with Milo from Tech Division. Big shout out to Milo. You know, a lot of these mod makers and company owners, they think their shit don't stink and they don't have time for anyone's questions. But Milo has been a great help and he's really walked me through the process and the thought and the design behind the MX1 and J. So essentially what happened was Jay contacted Milo and said, look, I want a mod that's going to showcase my Jenna RTA. So Milo did two things. He referenced back to his Minion version 2.0, which had the rotating 510 screw, and he installed that into the MX1 and J. Now what the rotating 510 screw will do is regardless of where your atomizer ends up, say that we throw on an Addy and the airflow is blocked here by the tank section, you just tighten down that hex screw right in there, and that will give your 510 more you know space to really tighten down that atomizer and free up the airflow what he also did was he raised up the 510 and he widened it out to match up perfectly with the dimensions of the general rta i will show you a little bit more about that once we go down low so that's what we're going to do next but before we do go down low i just wanted to let you guys know about my hopes and expectations for this device Firstly, I'm really hoping that it's ergonomically airflow friendly. And what I mean by that is I want to be able to hold it and vape on it comfortably without interfering with the airflow that much. Secondly, I'm really hoping that the dimensions of the Jenna RTA match up perfectly with the dimensions of the 510. And that's not really a concern of mine, but it's just something that I'm hoping really looks great and really stands out on the MX1 and J. So yeah, let's hop down low and take a closer look. All right, let's open the box up and see what is on the inside. First thing you're gonna see is plenty of wick. This should be enough cotton to last you over the next couple years. No, I'm kidding, I don't think that's favorable. But let's take a look at what we came here for today. Here is your MX1 and J. As I mentioned before, the 3D print is exceptional and the stainless steel battery tube looks awesome as well. Let me give you a quick 360. There's your fire button, your up button, right here and your down button on the other side. Let's take a quick look at the 510 18650 battery tube. Let's take a look on the bottom. Oh yeah, and here is your screen. Once we throw a battery in there, I'll give you a better look at the screen and the DNA chip. And right underneath is your Tech Division and Jay Hayes logos. Up next, we're going to get a little bag of some clickies. You throw these on top of your up and down buttons, preferably. I don't need these, but, you know, maybe other people do that have a hard time. They got big, fat sausage fingers, so they need something that will help them, you know, click those buttons just a little bit better. There are those. Up next, we're going to see our battery cap. So when I initially got this, this was actually in two pieces. You had your 3D printed part and your stainless steel part. They were separated, but all I did was click in the 3D printed part into the stainless steel and it made it one piece. So there is your battery cap. You can really use it either way. Up next, we're going to have our Jay Hayes social media card. There is his Twitter, Facebook, and his YouTube. And last but not least, we're going to be taking a look at our MX1 and J card of authenticity. Serial number 47 out of 50 and the date of assembly was the 23rd of June 2020. It took me a while to figure this out. I really didn't know which month the 23rd month of the year was, but I guess it's just a European thing to put the month and the day backwards. So yeah, let's get a closer look. Let's look at the specifications. Let's throw a battery in there and take a closer look at the DNA 60 chip. All right, so let's get some measurements on our MX1 and J. First, let's check out the width around the 510. That's going to clock us in at 24 millimeters even. And let's check out the height of the mod, which is going to come out at about 87.5 millimeters. 
So to give you an example of how tiny this thing is, right here I have a single 18650 Squonk. This is a clear Lizard Komodo. It's one of the tiniest mods that I own. It really just fits in the palm of my hand. So when we match this up with the MX-1 and J, you can see that the Lizard is actually just a little bit bigger. So you get a good idea of how tiny and how compact the MX-1 and J actually is. But let's take a look at exactly what this mod was designed for, and that is the Jenna RTA. So once again, referencing the width of the 510, that's going to be 24 millimeters, and the height of the tank section is going to come out at 34 millimeters on the dot. So let's reference our Jenna RTA right here. I have the black Cerakote rendition, definitely my favorite looking rendition. Let's check out the width. 24 millimeters on the dot and in height we're looking at 33.9 millimeters so as you can see they match up almost perfectly I think it's one millimeter short when it comes to width but you can just see with me showing you the dimensions that they were meant for each other so let's throw this on top of the mod and see how it looks let me throw the drip tip back on the top and here it is, the Jenna RTA with your MX-1 and J. Bam. So here it is, your MX-1 and J with the Jenna RTA on top. And as you can see, the tank really fits on there like a glove. Killer looking setup. I really don't want to gush too much about the looks. If you have eyes, you can see it for yourself. But I just wanted to show you one of my favorite features about this mod. And this is the little tiny hex screw that you see underneath the 510. So when you look back to the airflow of the Jenna, you can see that it is cleared up on both sides. But say if you were to put another tank on there where the airflow was blocked off by this battery tube, what you would do is you would screw down this hex a little bit, which would lower the 510, and that would give you more space to tighten down your tank, which would turn it to free up space for your airflow. I think every side-by-side -side mod should have it, but fortunately, they don't. So just because this was made for the Gen RTA doesn't mean other tanks will not work on there. But let's check it out and see how some other tanks are going to look on the MX-1 and J. So as you just seen, I threw a few different tanks on top of our MX-1 and J. Some work, some don't, and some look completely ridiculous like the Widowmaker, but hey, if that's your thing and that's your style, do you. So I ended up throwing the Jenna back on top. Let's check out this DNA 60 board. Right here, I have a single 18650 battery. Don't worry, this is wrapped, ladies and gentlemen. Please make sure that you wrap your batteries, make sure that your insulator is intact at the top and make sure that your wraps are clean and don't have any tears or anything in there like that. So our battery is gonna go in positive side down and let's throw our cap back on the top. All right, so now that our battery is inside of our MX-1 and J, let's power this baby up. I'm gonna hit the fire button once, which will turn on a screen. There's our Tech Division logo, MX-1 and J, and now we are at our home screen. I really enjoy this home screen, and let me tell you why. Right there in the middle between our ohms and our battery percentage is a puff counter. That is not easy to find these days. Not too many mods have that function. Well, they do have the function, but it is not on the main screen. Really, for me, everything that I need in a home screen, I have right here. Now, I don't use temp control. I mean, normal wattage vapor. I like canthal and I like nichrome. That's not to say I don't like other types of wires, but for me, this is just perfectly. So all the way to the right, you're gonna see your wattage. To the left, ohms at the top, puff counter right in the middle, and at the bottom is another battery indicator that's gonna match up with this one as well. This is just a visual presentation of the battery indication. So that's not to say that this device doesn't handle temperature, temperature control because it does, and I'm gonna show you now how we're gonna get to that. We're gonna hold our up button, and our down button on the other side together. 
that is going to lock our device. So you can still fire it, you just can't adjust the wattage. We're gonna press our down button twice and that is going to bring us to our different temperature control functions. I really enjoy the font they decided to go with on this device as well. So right here we have our Canthal, Preheat Nickel, Relax Nickel 200, NIFE 30, Nickel 200, Nichrome, Titanium, Stainless Steel, Canthal, and so on and so on. So they really covered all bases with this DNA 60 and I absolutely enjoy that. So let's bring this back on the top and let's vape on it. And we are back on top with the MX-1 and J sitting with my new Stainless Steel rendition of the Jenna RTA. I wanna give a big shout out to one Eye Vapor. Thank you for giving me the chance to experience this rendition of the RTA. I really appreciate you. So let's move on. Before I was actually able to finish my review on this device, this happened. Button on the other side. We're gonna press those two together for about four seconds. Sorry, I was already locked. Let me go back to the lock screen. And we can still fire our MX-1 and J, we just can't adjust the wattage. Now, what you just seen happen was completely 100% my fault. And the reason that I wanted to show it to you guys is because I want you to have an actual clear understanding of what I went through and with my experience of the MX-1 and J of this device. I want to be as open and honest as I can and I really want you guys to see exactly what I went through. So as most of you know, the Jenna RTA is an actual accessory to the RDA. It's a top cap that you put on top of the deck. Now what happened was when I was converting my RDA into an RD, RTA, I forgot to install that little grub screw that you put up the 510 to block off the channel that is utilized for the squonk action. So unknowingly to me, when I had this on top of my MX-1 and J, liquid was leaking through the 510 down into the MX-1 and J and it landed on top of the DNA 60 chip. Now DNA bores have a special coating that is protective against liquid or you know whatever else that you get down into there but it got kicked up so much that it ended up shorting out the board. So once the short actually occurred in my device I contacted Milo from Tech Division and within one hour he had an address for me. I shot it up to New York and Mike from Hummingbirds took care of me completely free of charge. So a huge shout out to both of them. Thank you for taking care of me in such a speedy and in such a professional manner. So let's get back to it. When it comes to the MX-1 and J or when it comes to any device in general, the first thing that I'm looking at is aesthetics and when it comes to this device, it absolutely nailed it. I think this thing looks completely badass and when I heard that the Jenna RTA was going to match up with its dimensions perfectly, I knew that I had to get it. Secondly, the form and the compactness, it just feels great in the hand. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I want it to be ergonomically airflow friendly. Let me give you a quick demonstration. So as you can see, I have my hand fit comfortably around it. Let me give you another hit. As you can see and as you can hear, I'm getting very smooth, unblocked airflow. So that is also a huge pro. I'm really surprised that they were able to pull that off. Lastly, the DNA 60 chip. It's such a well-rounded chip. It's great. It covers all bases and <clears throat> I think it complements the MX-1 and J perfectly, so that is another one of my pros. All in all, when it comes to the MX-1 and J, I am extremely pleased with this device. When it comes to a side-by-side -side mod, they really covered all bases that needed to be covered for me to enjoy a device like this. When it comes to form factor, functionality, ergonomics, and just the general overall look, I am completely thrilled with the MX-1 and J. So I wanted to give a big shout out to Milo from Tech Division. I wanted to give a big shout out to J. Thank you guys for giving me the chance to own and enjoy this device. And thank you for helping me walk through the process behind the design and the thought behind the MX-1 and J. I also wanted to give a big shout out to my viewers. Thank you guys for the continued support. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for commenting on them. It truly does mean a lot. And I will try my hardest to release new and somewhat enjoyable content. So with that being said, guys, have a good one.